mistaken, I think choir members have a hand in this. Because when we did stewardship for liturgical supplies, part of that is, is, the, uh, is the wine that's used. So we actually are doing like in the old days, we are bringing this. But instead of everyone bringing a bottle every Sunday, we do this with our support of the, of the stewardship. The other very important part of Christ in Egypt is that all those who have uh, 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 given their books, their memoration books, every one of those names is mentioned. So this is a very important part of the service. And so if you get to, to liturgy early enough and you can submit your prayer book, then certainly your, your names will be amongst those that, that it's, it's on praise for. And then of course liturgia, which is the most important single service that we have because it features the, uh, the, the taking of communion. So, that's, that's sort of how these stack up. Vicernia in Ukraine, um, bear with the analogy. We, we have nowadays, you know, uh, athletic award things, we have movie guild award things and so forth, where people that, that you know, uh, hit so many home runs or made so many movies and so forth, they have testimonials. And part of that testimonial is that they talk about, well, gee, what did they do and how great that all is. And thousands of people attend these things and they televise them. Okay? Well, in a, in, I don't mean to be crude or anything, but in a real sense, Vichernia and Utrinia are the equivalent of the SP Awards and the Country Music Awards and every other kind of award for saints. And I don't mean that in any degrading fashion. What I mean is to give, give people in our lifetime and in our society a sense of how important that is. The fact that somebody hit a home run or whatever and so forth, that's all great. But the people and events about which we learn in Vichernia and Utrinia, that in my mind should have the same attention and glamour and everything else for saints who actually did far, far more than probably any of us are going to do. Okay, so this is a little bit more for, for the choir member types. Throughout this presentation, there are several cases where I make this big, nasty-looking red star. And, and uh, the, the reason for that is that just about everything that we sing is in response to something that the priest or deacon says. Okay. There are very, very few times when we'll go from one thing that we sing to another, rapid fire, without anything in between. Okay. In those cases, we need to, as choir singers, we need to think ahead and prepare that so that when we go from one thing to the next, so that, that there's not a, a, an interruption and people don't know what they're doing, books are dropping on the floor and so forth. And so in, in, in my industry, and I'm maybe in, in yours, there's a thing called the five Ps. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. So these are, for those of you that have these notes at home and those of you who are in the choir, look up where the red stars are. And so the next time that you're in a service, pay attention to when those red star spots are coming so that you're prepared. <laughs> okay, so this is roughly how I'm gonna go through the balance of the discussion. Uh, for those of you who, who sing in the choir, you'll notice that the, that the black, bold uh, uh, items are actually physically taken from the tabs that are in our music books. Okay. And when I say tabs, this is from the liturgy, these things here, okay? All of those black, uh, black bold items are exactly as, 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 they, uh, as they appear in the sections of your books. So let's talk about, uh, uh, let's talk about Vichieri. Предначинательный псалом, благослови душе моя Бога. That that psalm actually is an account of the creation of the world. And so when when we strive to arrive early and be there for the beginning of Sianusna, 
that's that's the reason because we want to participate and glorify God for His creating the world, the seven days of creation. Very shortly thereafter, after the world was created, in in, in relative time, man was expelled from from Eve, the, the whole Adam and Eve thing. Okay. So the balance of the Chernia talks about how do we get back in? Repentance, prayer. Okay. And it also talks about the prophecy of the Lord coming to earth. Okay. So, as far as organization goes, the, the first tab, that's where there are multiple versions of it. In the next tab, in the beginning of it, there are several versions of Itinya that we sing. Then there's a, there's a set of Gospodi Vazvach for all of the eight tones in the next section. Then Sveti Tihi. And Sveti Tihi actually um, was, has, has, has two senses of it. One was the, the softness of the setting of the sun that occurred someplace in, in, in and around the Holy Land. But the other is the prophecy of the coming of the Lord. And the fact that it's Svet Tihi and not Svet Gramadne is very important because if you recall, although the Son of God arrived as, as, as the king of, of, of all, he arrived in a very timid manger sort of situation. There was no room for him at the end, never mind some big glorious thing. That's what Svet Tihi reminds us, is he came in a very soft, in a very uh, quiet way, and, and that's part of the prophecy. Okay, so when you're singing Sveti Tihi, that, that's, the, that's the background for it. The next section, Pratim Nenevichirni. Yes, it has the Pratim name. We have a couple of different versions of it. But also, it has the Prasitsa Nektinya that follows the Bodhi Gospri, which is, which is red. And for those times when we have uh, the Litiya, the various types of Gospri Pamili that are sung for it. So, if we have Litiya, and I tell you that we're going to be singing Moskovska, you'll find it here in the section of Parkin. Stichirene okay. Stichovne is the next section, and, and, and Stichirene Stichovne really those are, uh, those again are commemoration specific. The ones that we tend to sing most often on Saturday nights are obviously Voskresne, and there's eight of them, one for each tone. But if you come to a non-Saturday night, a special service, you'll find that Stichir and Stichovne doesn't, it isn't at all the things that we sing on Saturday. It'll be specific to a saint or a holiday or whatever it is. Pogorodichny, uh, Stichovne, is the next tab, and, and it could be a little bit of a misnomer because Pogorodichny really implies that it's a Saturday service. Okay. And, and again, you have the eight, uh, the, you have the eight uh, tones. But if you come to, to a service that's not a Saturday night service before a routine so-called Sunday, you'll find that this is also something completely different. It could be a different gloss, it, but it's certainly the text is commemoration specific. But on normal occasions for Saturday services, this is where you'll find Bogorodichny, and as it implies, it has to do with Bogorodice. So, so there's a teaching or there's a glorification of the Mother of God at the Slava or Inigma level. Okay. Then Linya Pushayasi. Linya Pushayasi, as you all know, is the St. Simeon's prayer. It's the one that he said at the time when Christ was brought to the church. He, and and he, was for, he was foretold that he would not die until he actually witnessed Christ. And that's his prayer. Now notice, that as you get into Ninya Kushayati in this part of the service, you're already starting to talk a little bit about the, the birth of Christ. And so the birth of Christ is the end of the Old Testament. And so it's no coincidence that here you're getting close to the end of the chair. Okay, so you we've we've gone through two things here: the prophecy of the Old Testament and the commemoration of either of us be seen the, the following Sunday, which it says Stefan is called Malaya Pascha, okay, because it's it, it talks about the resurrection, or 
the commemoration of a saint or some other event. Now, <clears throat> if you think about the text, that's actually the archangel saying to her that you're married full of grace, uh, you, you've been selected to be the mother of God. Again, going towards the birth of Christ, the end of the, of, of the Old Testament. In the case where if it's a non-Saturday non Sunday, routine Saturday Sunday service, at this point, instead of or maybe in combination with it, there'll be a trapai or several trapai that are that are commemoration specific. Okay, and where do you find these? Well, you'll find these either on the little sheets that, that, that we produce or in the service booklets that we have for specific holidays. Okay. So this is not always So the next thing is Malaya Slovoslovia, which we occasionally sing. It's, it's sort of optional. Uh, and Malaya Slovoslovia is actually not part of the chairman. It is the first part of, of, of uh, Utri. But in, it, because it follows right away, that's the reason why it's here. But technically, Malaya Slovoslovia uh, is, is the beginning of the psalm, yeah, the sixth, sixth psalm, and that's what that's what begins the Udin service. So, uh, again, more for choir members. The, the, the organization of the music uh, in, in our books. You remember this is the first part of the Chiyamnya So within each one of those sections, there is more than one Pridnachinatsin in Salom that we sing. There's the Abichodne, which is always first. The simplest one that we sing, Abichodne, is always the first one in the book. And then the various arrangements by different composers, those are listed alphabetically. And that's the organization. So if I say Pridnachinatsin in Salom, Abichodne, Bachnetsevo, you simply turn to the first page and it should be there. Okay? If I say Spayom Chesnakov, the 27th number, then Ch being at the end of the alphabet, you'll more than likely find it at the end of that section. Okay? The Blazen Mood section, as I told you, we put the Iktinya at the beginning uh, of this section. So, again, same, same sort of thing. You go by, by alphabetic within the section. And in the case of Blazen Mus, again, Bakhnetseva, Bichotne will always be first. Then you go either Arkhanvitsky, Pachayevsky, Troitsa, Sergeyevsky, Lavri, in alphabetical order. So for those of you who have had a mystery of where are these things, uh, that's the logic behind it. So now that, now that you know the logic, you should be able to find these things a little easier. <coughs> Um, as I said, Yitzia uh, those are generally, in, in our parish practice, those are generally done uh, in, uh, on, on major holidays. Bugorovitsa could be replaced by by Trapari and Malas Lovaslopi. So, uh, let's look now at Gospedi Vazvah. So that's, that's the position of Gospedi Vazvah. This is the structure of Gospodi Vazvah. There's an initial thing that we always sing. Gospodi Vazvah to be uslis, and yav uslis, and yav uslis, and so forth, depending on the tone. And then there's a set of ten stihi. <coughs> For normal Saturday, uh, Sunday services, these stihi, they reflect the part of the service, and they, they re re reflect the, the attitude of that service. If you look at them, we're praying. And the reason that we're praying the way that we are here is we just got kicked out of heaven. Okay? So uh, all of these tihi have the sense of how do I make it back into your good graces, Lord? Okay? And so what, what, what typically happens is for a Sunday service, all ten stihi are relevant. 
and in between each there are stichia. Okay. It's very important to retain every one of the stichia, whether you actually have a stichia to read there or not, because the stichia are actually the skeleton of the service. How much meat is between the bones is a different story, but the skeleton of the service is defined by those tihi, and that's the reason why, let's say, uh, you know, we, we want to abbreviate the service. If we wanted to do that, it would be essential to maintain every one of the tihi and simply, in some cases, omit the tihi in between. That's a judgment call, but the elimination of tihi that are required, that's not a judgment call. That's a part of the service. So if you wanted to really abbreviate something very much and omit this, 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 and this stichir, uh, if you wanted to, you would still need to read the stichir to maintain the structure. Does that nuance make sense? Anybody said no? Good. So that's the structure of Gos Pedibas Vav. Similar, but shorter, is Tihira Nistichol. It, again, has the same type of structure. It has Tihi, and it has Tihir. Okay. And typically, because this is a far shorter part of the service, here the omission of Tihiri doesn't happen that often. But again, it's the Tihi. That, 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 that make the service. And if it's not a Saturday or Sunday service, then actually these tiki that are, that are written here, they'll be replaced by commemoration specific tiki. So they are actually the skeleton that, that, that contains the service. So here's our red dot thing. Between the end of the last uh, Steve Nestifol, which in the Sunday service is a Bogorodich and Ninja.